Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Milk for food storage, it can really be complicated. There are different kinds of milks that you can buy that last from a short term to a long term, but we know that fresh milk is just not going to last that long. The most common way that people store milk for long term to have a lot of milk on hand is to store the non-fat dried milk. The problem with the non-fat dried milk is it's just horrible tasting. Store what you eat and eat what you store. I have never been able to find a way to disguise the horrible flavor of instant non-fat dried milk. It can last for many years. You can buy it in number 10 cans that are designed to last for decades. You can preserve it in Mylar bags in five gallon buckets. You can store it in canning jars. You can use a food saver to vacuum seal it. You can even use oxygen absorbers. But I choose not to do that because the stuff just tastes terrible. I don't want to spend my food storage dollars or waste my pantry space on foods that I find unpalatable. Another alternative I did find to milk that I find is very palatable, delicious, and useful is the Nido milk. It looks like Nido, but it's Hispanic. You can find it on the Hispanic aisle because it's actually produced in Mexico. It comes in different varieties that are designed for small children enriched like formula type milks, but this one that's the Nido Fortificado is absolutely perfect for my needs in long-term food storage. You can read on the label the nutritional facts and the ingredients. Nido comes in a can. It has a tight-fitting plastic lid, but if you open up the top lid, you can see it isn't a sealed up can all the way around like cans that we would buy corn, beans, fruit, and other foods. It has like an aluminum foil seal like you might find on snack foods that you would peel it back for easy access. But that's not going to seal it up as long as other kinds of cans of food. When I bought this, it had a best buy use by sell by date of a year and a half, but it's easy to extend the usage of this food even after you open it. One thing to know is you need to keep milk, powdered milks and all kinds of milks stored in an airtight container. You can repackage this into other containers, but make sure you don't use one that ever held something that had any kind of a aroma or a flavor because that will easily be transferred into your milk. You can also store this in the freezer after you've opened it and that will help it to last for a long time. How tightly sealed is the Nido milk? I had to pull and pull and finally get a little pair of pliers to open up the aluminum foil type top. You can see the Nido is nice and powdery. It has a thick consistency, it's dense, and that's what you get with a powdered whole milk. To serve Nido milk, you would measure one quarter cup of the powder into one cup of water. Always put the water in the container first so it's easier to stir it up and it won't get any clumps. You can see it easily mixes together. It looks nice and rich. It doesn't have any clumps in it and it smells just like milk. Most of us want to drink milk cold, so after you mix it together, if you're planning on drinking it, put it into an airtight container like a canning jar with a tight fitting lid and store it in the refrigerator to pour it out when you want to use it. If you wanted to make a quart of milk, add one cup of the Nido powder into your quart of water. It's easy to mix it up into a canning jar, stir it around or even shake it, put on the lid and place it in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. I like to store the Nido powdered milk in several different ways. The first way I like to store the Nido Fortificado powdered milk is in a Ziploc sandwich bag. I can place one cup of the powder into each bag and that can make a quart of powdered milk. I can seal them up and about three of the bags, which would make three quarts of milk, can be stored in a clean canning jar. You can store it directly in a clean canning jar, spoon it in carefully, it's very powdery so you want to be delicate with it, and then you can sort of tap, tap, tap the jar down to get the powder to settle. Add a little more, wipe the lid to remove any excess, put on a clean canning jar lid and a ring. If you wanted to store these for long term, you could vacuum seal it or add an oxygen absorber, but just sealing it in the jar is going to help it last for several years. Then whether you want to make a quart of milk or spoon out a little bit for a recipe, you have it in either format. I have a bag I can pull out to make a quart of milk, or if I want to use it in a recipe, I can spoon it out of a jar that it's just filled into the jar. 
When you buy the Neato powdered milk, it has 53 one cup servings of milk. There's four cups in a quart, four quarts in a gallon, so you can see that you're getting a lot of milk with your 53 cups. I paid about $15 for the Neato milk at Walmart, but you need to look for it not with the other milk, but on the Hispanic food aisle. That's where you'll find the Neato Fortificata. If you have any tips or tricks on how you store milk for your long-term food storage, please share it in the comments below. There's so many different techniques and ways that we do things, but we can learn a lot from each other. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.